Hi, welcome back. Issue 23, Bill the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series. And we got episode 23. Looking at the Riddler again. Batman versus Vampire. Crazy. From 1939. And we got Batman 1960. The Zebra Batman. <laughs> oh, crazy. Batman year by year. And my car parts. So here we are. We're gonna put together the wheel. This is issue 23 and all we have to do is take the chrome piece and um, Slide it on top of this. Well, we take this, put it on top here. No. There, it's like that. There's no specific way it goes. And that's that for issue 23. That was, uh, was kind of a waste that could have been uh, put together with another um, stage. So here we got issue 24, episode 24. He's still battling the Riddler there. Great Batman comics. Batman 1960, year by year. Negative Batman. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now we have the tire and the inner wheel. All right, so now we're gonna put the whole wheel and tire together. These tires are uh, plastic, they're pretty hard. Um, they don't really give like a tire should, but that's okay, no big deal. Um, and there's no inner and outer for the tire. They're identical, both sides. And uh, so we're going to connect these and uh, my cat is uh, joining in say hi to Luna hi Luna okay just a side note from the screw designation tells you um, what you're screwing into so for example, these CM screws that I'm going to be using, um, or CP screws, that means they're screwing into uh, plastic. And we got to be careful that we don't uh, strip out anything. Oh my god, he's my cat is crazy. And he's blocking my way. Alright, so you have to be careful when connecting these inner and outer wheels to the tire. Like I said, this tire uh rubber is pretty hard and there was a significant gap between these lugs and the inner tire so you had a had to use a lot of strength to um, get them touching so that way the screw could be started and then i inserted the rest in a crisscross pattern 
And so now I'm just going through the uh, final torque. I am not going to over tighten. Like I said, this is plastic. Got to be careful. And this should do it for issue um, 24. Just the last one here. There. My other front wheel. Now on to issue 25. All right, issue 25 is pretty much going to be identical to 21, I believe it was, um, where we're going to connect the uh, the uh, the brake assembly to the tire and then the tire to the chassis. Let's go through uh, this week's issue, issue 25. This time the Joker's back. Great Batman Carmix, 1999 to 2000, Dark Victory. Um, Batman Year by Year, 1961. You can see the progression in the uh, artwork. So like Back here in the 60s and prior, it looks like those uh, Archie comics type um, type of comics and cartoons and and uh, character development and uh, and how they're drawn. And then uh, you can see how it changes year by year. Like I get the Archie comic vibe here with these 1960s Batman comics. All right, so on to the brake assembly. Okay, first up we have this piece and we have our other brake line. Let's try and straighten this out. It's pretty curled up. I hate that. I wish it came straight and not all curly. I never actually tried the hot water trick. I seen uh, what's his name, uh, World of Wayne, do it with some other plastic parts. So here's my little trick: grip it close to the end. Uh, I try not to use uh, tweezers unless I can't reach, unless it's far away, and then I. And we have this little post. See that little post right there? You put it on top. Instead of trying to push it, I wiggle it back and forth and it just kind of walks down. See that? And that's uh, pretty tight. It shouldn't come out unless you really yank on it. And if it should come out, then I'll put the smallest dab of glue and do that again. Okay, so now this piece goes on the chassis, the steering knuckle. Okay. the brake line goes through here somewhere I'll just put it on the side I could I could route it later but let me get this guy on and this fits really this is a really snug fit no need for glue This piece goes on the tire, and we're going to secure it with some uh, AM screws. AM means going in metal. Uh, 
Uh, fan home says the trick with uh, screwing it into metal is you go halfway down, let it cut the grooves, and they want you to remove it. And that clears out the the uh, what do you call it? Give me a second. the shavings and go all the way so we'll do that that seemed to have uh, worked pretty good you see me in the past kind of like struggling halfway remove it get rid of the uh, shavings okay now let's continue on Okay, now the tire goes on to the uh, wheel here. And the wheel goes on to the, the vehicle. Get a screw ready. And my washer. Oh, come on. Got the halfway, oh, halfway down, pull it out. See if it gets rid of some shavings for me. Okay, and I secure the uh, tire to the steering knuckle, steering arm. It's a little better than the other side. I like this side better. Maybe it's because I cleared the shavings out. This one, I'm going to redo. Because I wanted to Get rid of that wall. Okay, I retightened everything up, and this is my finished product for uh, issue 25. We have the, the wheels; they turn nice and smooth. Um, and then I got rid of that wobble. Yeah, I had to tighten up these upper arms, so I'm looking good. Okay, we'll move on to 26. All right, issue 26. Joker is back at it. This episode, Son of the Demon, 1987. Great Batman comics. Batman year by year, 1962. And my car parts. We continue on with the frame, building up this chassis. And this is the left side. So we're going to take one piece, this piece with the uh, the flared end, and we're going to attach this one to it. It fits right into place here. And we're going to secure it with two CM screws. Okay. Let's get those screws ready. Now remember, 
CM means it's going into metal, M for metal. And uh, they want you to cut the threads, pull it out, remove the shavings, and then retighten it. It should go in, no problem. So we're going to do that. Okay. Okay, we got that attached. And now this frame is so long, it's not even going to get on camera here. And then uh, it attaches here. Hopefully you can see that. Man, I'm going to maybe try and do a side-by-side -side comparison, but this looks like it's way longer than my charger. Let me get my screws ready. Everything's lined up. Yeah, it's pretty hard. That's a good, uh, a good little tip that Fan Home shared. Saw that in the beginning of the last, uh, the last episode, well, last last stage, at the beginning of the instructions. It said it specified about the uh, the metal and the plastic screws, how to properly install them. Um, so it turns out good because once I get the shavings out, it goes in real easy. Okay, let me do a final torque on these. There's no movement, no slop, no play. Okay. And then I want to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. I know it's incomplete here. It's not as complete as my charger. But here is my charger. It's almost done getting dusty I'm gonna clean it off and now I'll look at the frame of the uh, the 1966 Lincoln Futura can you see that? Here's the front and back of the chassis of a 1970 Charger. And here is the Batmobile. Line up the front tires. Look at that. Crazy, huh? It's a lot longer. Okay, I'm going to continue on with the right side. All right, so now we're officially on issue 27, which I tried to start at the beginning of the series. Um, but I forgot I had some uh, leftovers from the previous month. So we got episode 27, The Curse of Tut. I think this is the first time uh, Batman meets King Tut here. That's pretty funny. Okay, and then uh, Great Batman Comics 2013 to 2014 Zero Year, the Ultimate Reboot. Hmm, interesting. There's a lot more bigger Batman fans out there than me. Um, I just love this 1966 Charger, and there's so much you could learn from these magazines, and then maybe trying to find the real comics, read through the stories for yourself get a better understanding of the superhero. Uh, year by year, 1963. All right, and now back to the frame. We're gonna work on the right side. It's pretty much a reboot of the last episode. We have connect the two pieces and then connect the two pieces to the chassis. And that'll be done for issue 27. Okay, I'll be right back to show you that finished product. 
real quick note of what I did here. Instead of putting the two pieces together, running down a screw, pulling it out, getting the uh, shards out of there, the shavings, I just used one screw as a sacrificial piece to cut the threads, and then pull them out, got the uh, shavings out of there. So now I'm going to connect them and I'll do the same thing on the frame as well. You know, because that way it just makes it a little easier, less cumbersome and all that. Okay, I'm just finishing up. It worked out real good. I uh, cut all the holes first with a sacrificial screw, blew out the uh, shavings, and then installed everything. Instead of trying to install everything, cut the shavings. Just, you know, makes it less, uh, less of a hassle that way. Okay, so there is my frame continuation. Everything's nice and secure. Now we are going to continue on with issue 28. All right, we got issue 28. Just a side note, um, like I was telling you, I was under the weather for the past few weeks and stuff. Um, I finished up my R2-D2. I'm gonna have to uh, show you the finished product on that. And then um, I'm gonna post a video on it and show it to you guys. So keep your eye out for that. Okay, episode 28. Still fighting the uh, King Tut there. Gotham by Gaslight. Great Batman comics. That's uh, what, 1989. Then Batman Year by Year, 1964. Looks like the, uh, we're getting into the classic look of Batman. Not so, you know, I don't know, the way the drawings were when he first came out was not refined enough. This is my favorite, um, Batman um, iteration. The TV series came close, but not really. I guess back then they really weren't so physically fit as they are today. If they were, if they had the training programs we do nowadays, um, Adam West and Burt Ward would have been like the perfect um, Batman and Robin. Per, you know, compared to the comic books. Okay, so what are we working on this um, this stage? We're working on uh, cross members. So let's get going on that. That's going to uh, stiffen up our whole whole entire frame. Just want to point out this center cross member. It's um, really heavy duty. You can feel the weight to it. And uh, it's going to go here. You got to kind of manipulate it. It goes above here. And then under here. So we're going, there we go. And then the other cross member goes in the back. This go hump side and it goes just like this. So let me take care of that and I'll bring it back. Okay. This frame is getting huge. I don't know where I could store this thing. Just doing the final torque on all of these. And we'll go on to issue 29. These are the easy stages. It's gonna be, I'm sure there's gonna be harder stages upcoming. All right. Issue 29 feels thicker than the rest. There's probably a lot more articles in here. Build a 
Batmobile from the 1966 classic TV series. Episode 29. We got the um, bookmobile. Who's his uh, enemy here? Batman, Robin, Alfred. I don't know. I have to read that. Then we have Great Batman Comics, 1989 again. The reboot with the uh, Michael Keaton Batman. Batman Year by Year, 1965. And our car parts. We got the rear frame and the shock absorber mounts. It's pretty straightforward. We're gonna install these shock absorber mounts and then the frame to the vehicle. All right, so I got the shock absorber mounts on here. Just installed this other cross member. That stiffens up this whole frame real good, just like the real thing. And final torque check. And that looks good, and that does it for um, issue 29. Continuing on, we got uh, issue and episode 30. Last issue, Batman faced the uh, bookworm. Robin is kidnapped in this episode, faces death flashed to the clapper of the bell in a clock towel. Clock tower. Batman's got to save the day again. All right. What do you got? Uh, what great Batman comics? One of the most perfect frame ups, 1944, 1941. That right there. Number 58. Crazy. Hmm. So many Batman comics I didn't know existed. Batman Year by Year, 1966. Ooh. Poison Ivy makes her debut. If she kisses Batman, does she have like the uh, poison on her lips? This week's parts, we got the rear axle, the axle housing, the slip yoke, and the spider joint. Interesting. So we got some metal pieces that um, connect up to uh, some plastic pieces. So I got to be careful. So like the, this is kind of like another, this is the rear axle. It's metal, but it's not that heavy. And then I got three plastic pieces you got to be careful of. So we're going to take this guy. And connect it to the spider joint. And then connect this to the. Um, uh, the axle housing. Okay, be right back. Okay, all they want us to do is just uh, connect that um, spider joint and connect it to the rear housing. And then we'll probably continue on both of these next episode. So that does it for um, issue 30. Issue 31, build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series. So I guess Batman uh, saved the day last issue against the bookworm because this week, uh, episode 31, he's fighting the Riddler again. Okay, great Batman comics, 2011, 2012. Me personally, I didn't like the uh, Making Robin like this little boy, this like tiny midget like boy. I think it's uh, not my thing. 
Then we got Batman year by year, 1966 again. And our car parts. So we got the, you know, the half of the rear axle and the uh, axle cover. But both of these are plastic and they're gonna attach to the axle that's metal right here. Let's see what we got. All right, so we're gonna attach this piece to here. We're gonna close off the axle, just like so. And we're gonna screw it down, some AM screws. And then we're going to attach this guy we're going to figure this out okay all right so we got the rear axle closed up looks like so top half is plastic bottom half is metal then we're gonna put the rear axle housing on here. Goes on just like that. We're gonna secure some uh, AP screws. Just nice and snug for the plastic. Remember that, don't forget. And then we're going to push the rear axle cover into place using the two pinholes and it should hold in place it's not telling you um, they're saying before you do that it's going to be hard to remove it so make sure you're happy with uh with how this looks might as well give it one more torque check, but just carefully don't strip it out. Okay. Now it doesn't say to um, use screws, I mean uh, glue. So if it comes off, then uh, we will use glue. But we're going to put it on and see if we hear a click or anything. No, but it just fit on there nice and snug. It doesn't come off. It's not loose. At least I think so. Okay, that's that. Let's go on to issue 31. Actually, we just completed issue 31. Now, uh, all I have left for this month is issue 32. Looks like we got some leaf springs and um, these U-bolts. All right, episode 32, still battling the Riddler. Great Batman comics from 31, 1971, I mean. Batman year by year. We're still in uh, 1966, part three. That looks like the opening to the TV series. Interesting, I didn't know they had it in the comic book. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And now our car parts. We have the rear left leaf spring, shock absorber mount, U-bolt, nuts, shock absorber rod, nut wrench, and some screws. OK. 
Okay. This is actually a wrench to tighten up the uh, nuts onto the U-boats. Uh, Let's get it cracking. So we need uh, our rear axle situated this way. See, they have this backwards. Right here, it's situated like this. Oh no, like this. Okay, I think I got it. Never mind. Goes on like this. Flip it around. We're going to install this piece shock absorber mount just like that Okay, and now we are going to install some U-bolts uh, through here. And into the mount. Let me get that going. Okay. Get another one this way. He's a little bent out of shape. So let me get that under control. All right, let me show you how this little uh, nut wrench is doing. So you take uh, your nut, put it here, kind of hold it and put it on the U-bolt and just spin it into place. Got them all started. I'm gonna do the uh, final torque here in a second. Just gonna snug it up. I'm gonna go crazy. Snug. Snug. Let me check the centered bolt. Snug. Okay, is that it? And then we have um, last thing to do is install our uh, shock absorber right here onto the mount with a uh, EM screw. Get that ready and that'll be all for this month. So actually I know it's kind of long, but uh, I did two, two months of issues here, kind of like one sitting. Um, Hopefully you guys uh, stuck with me to the end. Appreciate it. There, and that's it for this week. We got the uh, left side of the um, of the rear axle with the leaf springs. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.